Man, Ratchet sure carries a lot of bolts. Makes you wonder how much space his space trouser pockets have. It's a beautiful spring day on Catacrom 4, Juanita, as we kick off a brand new season of Dread Zone. Oh, man! That's right, Dallas, and we're lucky enough to have a bird's eye view of the action. Even from up here, this season's Dread Zone battle courses look bigger and deadlier than ever. It's a wonder contestants keep volunteering, isn't it? Oh, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Vox construction team really outdid themselves in turning this once sacred robotic burial ground into a deadly Dread Zone battle course. And look, here comes today's first contestant. Is it me? Oh, my. They're really scraping the bottom of the barrel to find these guys, aren't they? Hey, that I barrel's cool. I hope you folks cool. at home aren't too squeamish, because the next one looks like a bleeder. Oh, man. So, it looks like we're on the first place. is a place. gimme, Juanita. All he has to do is make his way to the other side of this mountain pass. Oh, man, that sounds super difficult. All I have to do is get across the pass. Oh, man, will I pass this test? Are impenetrable. You will have to use an EMP to take them down. Didn't you tell me this last time? Like, seriously, I, I'm pretty sure we already heard this. So, um, yes. EMP, go! Yes. So now I can shoot this thing. Oh, did somebody... Oh. So I... Okay. Alright, I have to bring the guy back to life somehow. Whoa, buddy! You are not very nice. You're also destroying the thing. How dare you? I'm gonna, like, make this robot live. Folks, just a reminder, tomorrow is kick your best friend in the pants day. Free popcorn for everyone who... Dies. The end. <laughs> I get free popcorn and you don't. <laughs> Joke's on you. Alright, I guess I have to buy more ammo then, huh? Alright, fine. Alright, fine. I don't know, this guy... This thing was easier last time because it just stayed not functioning for, like, ever. So... <laughs> Um, yes, obviously the mistake I have made is that I am terrible. Uh, so, um, let's try the exact opposite of being terrible. And, uh, be good! I wanna be super good, man! It's always a good time being super good. Not gonna lie, it's the greatest of times, it was the best of times, it was some other quote. What I wanna know is how Ratchet uses the bathroom in that suit. What I wanna know is why you care. Um, yay! I did a thing. Upgrade your dread zone weaponry and improve your maximum nanotech level. That's super cool. Where's my other guy? Other guy? Oh, here over there. I don't even have to stand next to him to do that. Okay, sure, sure, got it. Good. Okay. Um, all right. So I blew up that thing. That's that's well and good. Should probably like destroy all of my foes in some fashion or another. That might be useful. Might be useful. I'm still getting used to the controls here because they are a little bit different. Like, to do the side flip, I actually have to flip. It, it's kind of weird. Also, I seem to have a, a thing I can do. Oh. EMPs do that thing. Um, it's a boingy pad! Yay! Even when I'm incarcerated with a thingy, I, I get to win, I guess. Is this the end? Alright, sure, fine, whatever. <laughs> I am cool with this. I get all the stuff and you don't get nothing. You stupid guys. I'm the winner. Yay. Alright, so yeah, that's right. Now As we're moving Team on. Star continues toward the Catacrom Burial Dome, they'll need to cross what I like to call the chasm of endless falling and eventual dying. In the unlikely event that they survive, they'll take control of the big, bad, and burly walking armored tank called the Landstalker. Good luck, kids. Oh, man! Ratchet, you will have to capture all three nodes to extend the bridge. Oh, okay, so it's... Seems like I'm playing up your arsenal multiplayer here or something. <laughs> it's pretty great, except it's deadlock multiplayer. What am I talking about? Uh, do nodes work the same? Oh, what does this button do? Oh, they capture nodes for me. Well, that's awful convenient. Um, okay, okay. It's good having friends. See, sometimes having friends is really good. Even if they're just robots. And are these like zombies? 
Are you guys zombies? I don't take kindly to zombies that are also robots. Folks, Dread Zone started out with two guys fighting over a breakfast burrito, and the rest is history. What? <laughs> I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Here's this place. Chilling is... thought. Team Darkstar is walking on top of a giant robot burial ground. Really? I hadn't noticed. Thank you for interrupting me yet again, Mr. Guy. I don't care much for you doing that. Oh no, I have died. Popcorn for me! Yay! <laughs> I love popcorn. It's it's delicious. On, oh, you need to something. Oh, Got something it. Up. All right. So do I have to capture this note again, or is it still? Okay, that one's already captured again still. So I don't have to recapture notes. I do have to get that one though. I thought I may have gotten you already, but as it turns out, I did not. I did not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I failed you. I should have tried harder to get this node. There was health here and everything, and for some reason I just did not do the thing that I needed to do. This little guy right there, he's what killed me, so I'm just gonna have to kill him first. Ha! You can't kill me when I have all the stuff. I don't know what that guy said. You can expand your map at any time to get a better view of the area. Oh, okay, sure. I'm dying, by the way. Can you, like, heal me or something? That'd be great. Wow, that only heals three? That's kind of dumb. I'm gonna die again, man. It's gonna be pretty great. I can't wait. I can't wait to get some more popcorn. Popcorn's delicious. What are you talking about? So, um, yes, there are zombies here. I'm going to shoot them with my guns. Yay! I haven't even talked about the weapons or anything yet. So this is the Dual Vipers. <laughs> it's the blaster of this game, obviously, in case, you know, that hasn't been made apparent by the fact that I'm just shooting things like a blaster-like and whatnot. Um, then also blitz gun, you know, those, those things. So, um, yes. Also, I don't have Clank, so I can't make that jump. Dang it, Clank, why you gotta be lazy? Why? Come on. Ever since you changed your name back to Clank, you've just been a jerk. Seriously, now. Uh, what's this over here? Uh, vandalism? Heck yeah, I love vandalism, it's great. I should probably use this thing, maybe. That might be a One good idea. Ratchet, you give him any lip and he'll feed you a lead sandwich. You better believe that, Juanita. A lead sandwich? That sounds delicious. After a certain point, I have a feeling I'm going to be completely ignoring all the stuff being said in the background, because um, I have a feeling it's just going to repeat after a while. But for now, it's hilarious and new. I love ratchet. it. According to Dread Zone show requirements, enemies appear red on the radar. Allies appear green. Challenge objectives appear blue. Oh, you don't say. I haven't noticed at all. Please, do tell me more of this magical user interface that you speak of. Oh man, time to EMP! Oh man, look at that, I've EMP'd. Okay, are you dying or something? Is that what's going on? Because, um... You're, you're, you're a bit dramatic there. Can I EMP again? Ah, I guess I can. Oh, that's cool. Yay! Okay. I am learning things. And, uh, things have been learned. I now understand. I'm gonna turn this bolt crank myself. Well, I wanna do it sometimes. I don't wanna be lazy. Gosh, man. Crank it up. I will crank it up. Don't you worry. Alright, so, yes. One thing I should mention about this game, in case it hasn't become apparent yet, is that it's a heck of a lot more combat-based than the rest of the series. As a result, I don't know. I don't know how much I like it, to be honest, because it's just... It's a bit weird, you know? Because... Yes. Oh, I, I leveled up a thing. Yay! <laughs> I received the impact mod. designed his weapons to gain experience as you use them, which allows them to be upgraded. Upgraded weapons not only do more damage, but can be modified. Oh man, I feel like I should explain that or something. This is um... a weapon screen. Here, you can select any weapon you own and modify it. To modify a weapon, select the weapon you want and press X. You will see at the top of the screen the weapons which are available, with the statistics of the weapon just below. Each weapon can equip a powerful Omega modification. These black market upgrades can inflict massive amounts of damage. 
To add, modify, or change an Omega Mod, scroll down to the Omega Mod button and press X. The list of available Omega Mods will be displayed. Okay. Select I want an Omega Mod which is available for that weapon, and then press X to equip it. Okay. That Omega Mod will now always work with that weapon until you change it or take it off. Use it wisely. Once you have purchased a new Omega Mod, it can be equipped if your weapon supports it. Remember, some weapons are not compatible with certain Omega Mods. Take some time to configure your weapon mods. Proper use of your mods will greatly improve the firepower of your weapons. Oh, well, well, thank you for talking forever there, guy, person, robot, man, thing. Um, so, yes, uh, this is basically a thing where you can kind of, like, modify your weapons a bit, you know? So, here I've got uh, various little mods. Like, the alpha mods are little things that you can just add to the weapon. Like, I can add an ammo mod. Obviously, that's it's already there. But, um, yes. So, if... Well, no, I want to wanna go here. I want to go here. Yes. See, because now I've added a, an impact mod. Or, well, I got the impact mod from uh, the thing. I have one more ammo mod left, so... Like, I don't, I don't know how this... Oh, yeah, okay, see, see, I understand, and I understand well. See, because I have one ammo mod left, and I could give that to a weapon. If I had another weapon to put that on, yes, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a thing. The gimmick of this game, if you want to call it as such, is that there's only, like, ten weapons, but they can be heavily modified to, like, fit your needs and whatnot, so, I mean... That's kind of cool, I suppose, but it gets rid of the aspect of, oh man, there's like 10 billion weapons you can have. But then again, I mean, they're not that bad. They're not bad. Um, so there's this big old red thing over there. I should probably stay out of the water. Might be a good thing. I need to upgrade this thing now, man. I gotta upgrade this thing now, man. I gotta do it. was a tough cookie. What kind of cookie would he be? I'm gonna go with Snickerdoodle. I was gonna say that. Dude, Snickerdoodles are awesome. That's how you know. That is how you know. I ran out of ammo for that weapon. You know, I should probably uh, work on getting popcorn some more. Yeah, that's that's obviously what I should do. It is indeed what I should do. I should probably get some ammo or something. That'd be great. Cool. I don't want to pay attention this time. Stop breaking the fourth wall, man. You're not supposed to know I died. What the heck? <laughs> Come on. Do I have charge boots, like, at all? Or is this just not gonna work that well? I don't know, the controls here are a bit weird because they're not exactly the same as they were in the past. What with, um, you know, focusing on the whole R button thing. I should probably run away, far away, as far away as possible. Here is some good news. Each time your weapon upgrades, it unlocks a new alpha modification slot for you to use. Oh man, that's amazing. Oh look, I see a swing shot. I am detecting a swing shot orb ahead. Jump. Quit fooling around, Ratchet. I I'm trying to not fool around. I was trying to get the thing and then somehow I fell off of a cliff. It <laughs> I <laughs> Why not work did it? No fair. <laughs> no fair. Come on, I need to blow something up. Okay, you can blow something up if you want. This is the part where I, re I repeatedly fall in the holes and die a whole bunch, you know, because popcorn is delicious, so I gotta get me some of that. Can I, like, get over here without dying a horrible, painful death? That might be pretty cool. I have to say, it sounds like the greatest idea I have ever thought of ever. If I just keep moving, I shouldn't have to worry too much about, like, running into stuff. Like, all those enemies everywhere? Look at all those enemies everywhere. See that guy? He's dead now. See that guy? He's also Remember, dead. Don't try any of this at home. Go to a friend's house. Yeah, that's how it always works. You know, you know. I want to swing. Oh, it's not the. I was using triangle. That's why I wasn't working. Of course, I was being silly. That is always the solution. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, man. I, I probably should just like do, what do you like know, the folks? best Ratchet thing. Has found the land stalker. It was very hard to find, what with the giant blue beacon shooting straight up into the sky. It was, it was obviously the most difficult thing I have ever had to do. Like, ever. In a million years. 
So yeah, um, that was um, my first taste of uh, what's to come, I guess. So <laughs> next time we're gonna we're gonna ride this land stalker. I think it was called. Is it land stalker or land striker or land master? I don't even know. It, I don't even know. But I guess uh, we'll find out next time. So I will see you later and goodbye.